If you're using some shells, in particularly the corn shell or the bash, then you actually get some further control over the running of processes on your system. You might find yourself in the middle of running a program, a program that is not easily shut down and restarted. You might be in the middle of a complex editing session and you don't want to lose where you're up to. But you might find yourself having a need to quickly pause that program, if you like, suspend it, and go off and run a couple of other programs. And when all of that other emergency task has been taken care of, then you can come back to your original program and resume it. Well, using the corn shell or the born again shell bash, it is possible to do that. It's not possible using the regular shell, the born shell, SH. To suspend or pause a process is to stop a process. That's the term that we use. A stopped process is known as a job. So let's look at the commands involved and in pausing and resuming a given process. To pause a process or to stop it, you use Control Z. Then if you use FG, it will resume the most recently stopped program. It is actually possible to pause or stop several programs at once. You can pause a program, then start a second program, then pause that program and start a third one and so on. And if you do that, you might want to selectively resume certain jobs. If that's what you need to do, then use the jobs command to list all the currently stopped jobs. And the list that you see, each line will have a number at the beginning of it, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for the first five different jobs that you have. And that number, say 3, can then be used with the FG command to resume that particular process. So you can say FG space 3 and it will resume the third process in the list. Say for example I start a program which might be a VI session, another.txt, and there we are running the VI session. Now I will type control Z. Here we go, control Z now, and it has been stopped. And you can see the number 1 next to it. At the beginning of the line I had stopped and it is stopped job number one. And if I simply say FG, that resumes it and I'm back where I was. So now I'll stop it again. I use Control Z and again it's the first stop job. Now I might start something else. I'll emulate this with another sleep and I might say sleep a thousand. So now we're in the running in the uh, in the middle of running a sleep one thousand command and I'll use the control Z a second time. And now I have stopped two jobs. So I can use the jobs program to find out what I currently have stopped. And at any point I can say, OK, I'd like to resume one of these jobs. I can say FG space 1 if I want to resume the VI session that I've got going. And here I am back in the VI session. Now I can end my VI session. And if I type jobs again, I'll find that I currently have only one stopped job and I can FG that and it is now going again. Now I know that you're probably expecting that the sleep would resume and that I would be in the middle of having another or the rest of my 1000 second sleep. So in other words I wouldn't be sitting in front of a shell prompt waiting to type something else in. I'd be paused in the middle of doing nothing. And the reason that didn't happen is that sleep doesn't respond very well to pausing and resuming or stopping and foregrounding if you like. The FG, I should have mentioned earlier, is short for foreground. Bring it back to the foreground. Anyway, sleep doesn't deal with that very well. And so if you try and suspend the sleep program, it will actually interrupt it and the program will actually terminate at that point. That's just particular to the sleep program. A final word on jobs. If you have a process that you've started asynchronously using the ampersand symbol on the end of the command line, it actually cannot be stopped. But if you think about it, you wouldn't really need to stop it because the main reason for stopping things is that so that you've got the command line back again so that you could start some other job. And if you've got a command running asynchronously, it's not actually interfering with your command line at all.